I'm sure I'm not the only one that needs a break from the Batman movies. I mean, come on, Gotham, please. Give me a break. I feel you. Getting still, I'm gonna give you one more Batman. Today, I ask the question, who is Kamazats? Kamazots is the Mayan bat demon of Mesoamerica, and he has roots that go well beyond the Zapotec cult that was formed in 100 AD. Quite frankly, there is evidence that him and his stories go back to even 700 BC. In Mesoamerican cultures, the bat has been a symbol of death and sacrifice, not to mention having a strong association with the nighttime. Kamazots is no exception to this and is a resident of the underworld, which is also known by the name of Shibalaba. In fact, the name Kamazots can be translated to death bat within the Kichi language. From the surviving history and traditions of the Kichi people of the Guatemalan highlands, Kamazots can be found in a book called the Popol Vu. This name translates to Book of the People and contains a collection of Mayan stories and legends that had historically been passed down through oral tradition. They were not committed to writing until around 1550 AD. Kamazots was considered a terrifying deity who served up death and ruled the dominion of the twilight. In Mesoamerican culture, caves were considered a gateway to the underworld, and that is exactly where Kamazots dwelled. This deity is considered to be very dangerous to all who have any encounter with it. Not to mention, not only is he considered to be evil, but a vampire as well. The iconography of Kamazats is based upon the leaf-nosed bat. Although, there is debate as to whether or not the vampire bat had more of an influence. The image of Kamazats is an anthropomorphized man with a bat's head holding a knife and usually some various part of one of its victims. He even had the ability to become a swarming colony of monster bats and in his stories quite often did so. He resides within the underworld in a place called the House of Bats. A well-known tale surrounding Kamazots that comes straight from the Popol Vuh is his encounter with the Hero Twins. Their names were Hunapu and Shiblanke. The twins were the son of a father who had previously been challenged by the gods of the underworld along with his twin brother, and they had been defeated. The new twin brothers eventually sought to follow in their father's footsteps and found themselves facing that same challenge. When the two brothers met the lords of Shibalba, the gods sent them through a series of horrifying places within the underworld. They passed through the House of Gloom and then through the House of Knives. The two built a fire within the House of Cold to escape freezing and then fed meat to animals in the House of Jaguars to avoid being eaten themselves. The two brothers also passed trials within the House of Fire and everything seemed to be going so well for them to this point. Their next trial, however, was in the House of Bats. Their final trial was to spend the night within the House of Bats. This was the resting place of Kamazats and his monster bats. This would have been quite a difficult task, but the two brothers came up with a plan. They decided to hide themselves within their blowguns to avoid the dangerous claws of the bats. For quite some time, the bats within the darkness lashed out at the brothers furiously, but unsuccessfully. After a time, the bats fell silent and the onslaught let up. When the bats had been silent for quite some time, the brothers began to think. Shiblanke broke the silence and whispered to his brother, Hunapu. Brother, the bats have fallen silent. Maybe it is now dawn and we have passed our trial. Check to see if dawn has arrived. Hunapu agreed that this was a good idea 
and stuck his head out from the inside of his tube. It was, however, not the dawn at all. The moment that Hunapu peeked his head out to check for the dawn, Kamazots made his move. He promptly swept down and ripped the head off the peeking brother and flew away with it. Shiblanke was left silently wondering why it was that he did not receive a response from his brother. Kamazats, however, had taken the severed head of the twin hero brother to the ball court of the Lords of the Underworld. There, he puts on a gruesome display of using the hero's head as a ball to celebrate his victory over the twin brothers. In Mayan mythology, the gods protected the Mayan people and kept the demons contained within the underworld. In return, the gods required various human sacrifices. When the people began to resist the demands of the gods, the gods would punish them by releasing Kamazats so that he could wipe out the human race. This would leave the gods free to create a new race of humanity. 